Hey, I'm going to do a little talk while I walk around during the brief break of rain. Now, some of us do these walks to connect back with Mother Earth. It's a big connection there that's been lost. Just wanted to say that. And everything these, everybody does when they're on their walks comes from their heart. It's not a scripted event. That's just what they do. I do it too. And I only walk around my yard right now. I wanted to um, tell you a story. My aunt, everybody knows about my aunt, or you should. She is a Native American woman. And I lived with her after my mother died. She was very poor, and uh, they did manage to buy a farm. And she shared a phone. It was called a party line with her next-door neighbor. And <laughs> she had it for many, many years. And um, I remember my aunt would used to have to beg to use the phone for, like, three minutes because this woman was always on the phone. This is all she did was talk. She was pale white. She never got any vitamin D. She was connected to that phone. Um, my aunt used to say, what in the hell is she talking about all this time on the phone? Um, and it's a really good question because there's only so much you can talk about before you're informed enough to know what you need to do next. Um, we all know who controls what or pretty much, I mean, we all guess, but those are rabbit holes and I think they're purposely set out sometimes for us to just dive deep. It's exciting. It's, it's disheartening. Um, we all know we're being poisoned by chemtrails. That's obvious. Um, GMO foods, obvious. Vaccinations, it's obvious. A lot of these things are just obvious in your face things. And um, who controls who? Well, that's just a matter of discernment in your own heart. This is the way I'm, I've always been a, a doer. Um, I've been sprayed with mace or pepper spray. It, like, it chokes you, your eyes water forever, it burns, it's, there's, it's, it's a horrible feeling. Um, I've never seen anybody with rubber bullets, but I was at a, um, on a nation once and they were standing up against something and um, there were snipers in the woods. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, my brothers and sisters on nations are standing up right now to help save this planet from the destruction of what these corporations are mining out of it and extracting out of it, all for profit. And it's not your profit, for sure. You know they'll be drinking clean water, eating healthy food, while you'll be living on super fun waste sites like uranium mine waste sites. Um, your water will be poisoned from fracking. The tar sands is completely destroying this earth in, in Canada and in America. And some people says it's jobs. Well, there'd be jobs. I, I could create some jobs. Um, clean this shit up. That would that would be innovative, creative jobs to find out how to create, clean this shit up. This radio, this stuff in Fukushima, the stuff from Chernobyl, just the uranium mines and the, the nuclear plants in our nations. Um, and I'm talking about the United States and Canada. I mean, clean this shit up. That'd be some good work there. I mean, I don't want anybody to put themselves in harm's way, but you're around arsenic and lead and all kind of toxic shit when you're extracting oil from the earth and you're leaving that shit there. Um, so if you're in that employment, don't troll me. I've looked into it. Now I'm saying if you look, if you realize you only borrow this earth and, and you're supposed to leave it in a better place for your future ones that belong to you, your children, your grandchildren, your great-grandchildren, then you need to be a doer and not a talker like my aunt referred to the lady on the telephone. And now I, I, I this is um, not a brand new idea. It's just an idea I'm going to pitch that's been pitched year after year. Let's just see if we can carry this message. Here's an easy way of a non-compliance day where you don't even have to leave your own home. And that's April 15th. Don't send your kids to school. Don't go to work. Don't buy one damn thing. Don't make any transaction. Don't watch state-run media. Um, sit at home, visit with your family, talk to your neighbors, take a walk, whatever. But don't participate in anything unless it's a day of action against um, the controllers. And 
And Kenny and I talked about this last night, and I actually did a video, but I, I seem to sound unkind in it, and I'm, I'm not trying to be unkind. I'm just saying, please join in. Kenny and I may not join in that day of action. The nation right down the road from us is starting to protest uh, the crap that's coming through Washington State. And if on that day they're protesting, we'll be up there with probably the police pointing rifles at us, the standing with my brothers and sisters, because... They are my brothers and sisters. Um, if not, we'll stay at home and it'll be a complete day of non-compliance with this system and not purchasing anything because everything is, is based on currency, even us. They exchange us on the stock market. You guys know all this, so I'm not going to send you down rabbit holes. I'm just suggesting an idea of non-compliance that maybe everybody could jump on board where you could just stay at home be your first test run of non-compliance against this controlling system because we've got to start somewhere with solutions everybody knows to grow their own food and stuff if you don't know that now learn about it and there's other things you do don't vaccinate your children teach your children well um, I mean, if, if they do have to go to public schools, when they come home, unindoctrinate them. You can do all these things yourself. But on that day, don't send them to school. Send them the next day. It was a national day of noncompliance. Screw them. I used to be a public school teacher. There's nothing they can really do. If everybody did something like this, it would be awesome. So April 15th, that's that deadline or death line for tax days. You know, the day they want all their monies in. And I understand that people who file taxes aren't even getting refunds. Um, I haven't paid taxes in a very long time. I, I was non-compliant with that. I don't even have a driver's license. Been non-compliant with that for a long time. Because of a seatbelt ticket. Not paying their stupid revenue generating stuff. Um, some things are my choices and some things they lie about. Let's just put it that way. Um, so I'm just asking, if you're not going to do a day of action and actually getting out there doing something, um, and a lot of, of you do go out there and do things, stay at home and not do a damn thing. And, and don't, don't do any bank transactions, don't do anything. And hey, if you want to get on the internet and put a little thing up on your tab, change your picture to a day of non-compliance with the government, and use all those target words you know they love to track you with, do that. Hell, I'm just saying that death line day, April 15th, that they covet so much because they get their monies. Just do a day of non-compliance and for damn sure don't send in that tax money. Um, yeah, they'll audit you a couple of times, but you can you can beat the IRS at their own game if you go. You can go research how you do that. I've actually been hassled by the IRS once. Uh, they have left me alone since for several years. They decided to come after me now, and I don't have nothing. So anyway, um, it, it's just I thought you know this is a way you could start participating in something, and I'm actually not asking anybody to do anything except don't do anything that day. Don't go to work unless you're in an emergency field. If you're a doctor or a nurse or something, in that case, or an ambulance driver, I mean, you're going to be needed. But in other cases, stay your ass at home, um, you know, because we're a consumer society. Let's just not consume that day. Anyway, this was my ramble as I was walking around watching my chickens and goats and stuff. And we, we were about to get more rain. I'll let you look at the dark clouds over there. Yeah, we had just this brief little moment where I could come outside. It, it's it, and we'll get some winds with this. It's just been like sto little storms after little storms. But anyway, um, what do you think? Leave you know, leave your comments below. And those of you who don't like what I say, I don't even care anymore.